welcome back guys today in this tutorial i will show you guys how to work with global colors global colors are basically swatches and once you set up properly you can easily change the mode of your artwork by changing the global colors for an example if you want to change the artwork mode from day to night or night to day or different set of colors you can easily do so all right so in this tutorial i will show you guys how to work with global colors how to create this simple landscape scene in illustrator as well all right so let's get started i'm going to recreate the scene and first i'm going to draw the mountains for this i'm going to select the pen tool and make sure your smart guides are on so that it will snap to the edge without a problem all right so after that I will go into this hedge and I'm going to place a anchor point in here and I will bring the second anchor point to the center click in here and I'm going to make this curve by moving this Bezier key and as you can see in here if I move the path it will just follow the Bezier shape so in order to avoid this smoothness just click one more time on the anchor point which will make this as a new corner and then we can move on to the next anchor point which is in this corner in here all right and i'm going to do the same press one more time and i will close this mountain shape all right so once i complete the mountain shape i will apply a fill color for this shape we don't need a stroke for this mountain and now I'm going to draw the second mountain also. It's going to be same as earlier. I'm just going to use the pen tool to draw the second mountain. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I will bring the second mountain behind the first mountain. Just click control backspace, which will bring the mountain to behind. All right. So our two mountains are ready. Now I'm going to draw an ellipse in here. This is a very basic scene. So I'm just going to place an ellipse and we are almost done. All we need to do is draw a background and for this I'm going to draw a rectangle. I'm going to draw a rectangle covering the artwork. And for this I'm going to apply a gradient for now. Just the default gradient in here. Alright. And I'm going to change the gradient angle as well. So I'm just going to click select the gradient and maybe from top to bottom like this in an angle. Or maybe, yeah, like this will do. All right. Okay. Okay. So now let's define the colors which we are going to use in our artboard. For this, I'm just going to draw some squares in here and define some colors. Just random colors in my mind. Maybe let's keep this one in a purple theme. You guys can select any color here you want it's all up to you i'm just selecting some random colors in here maybe three colors for now maybe four colors okay let's make it four and all right so all of our four colors are ready now select all four of these colors and go to swatches and create a new color group once you click on the new color group it will open up the color group dialog box in here and here you can define a name but make sure to click on convert process to global this is very important you need to select this convert process to global and let's define a name and select ok that's it now you can see all four colors which we have choose is already in the swatches panel in here and to identify them as global colors easily you will see these are different from other swatches you will see a white color icon on the bottom right corner and once you define your global colors you can still add more colors to the group let's select one more color all you need to do is select the color and click on the new global color make sure to select the global color in here as well if it's outside of your color palette you can just drag and drop into your color palette okay so now we already choose our colors 
now all we need to do is apply these selected colors into our artboard it doesn't matter if it's a gradient or even in a effect we just need to apply these colors which we have selected in here okay so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to apply a gradient for this circle in here and i'm just going to drag and drop these colors from the stretches and i will do the same for other objects also but make sure to apply only colors from this global color section if you apply other colors other than in this global color section uh, it won't work properly when you change the colors those new colors won't change unless you make them as global colors all right okay guys so i think i will make this part faster i'm just going to apply colors to this uh, artwork in here global colors will work with blending modes as well and it will work inside group also so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this mountain into two portion using the pathfinder tool and apply a different gradient in one portion and apply a solid color in another portion and you can keep this as a one object it doesn't matter when you change the global color it will affect all of them okay you can also add colors to the global colors directly from your shapes so let's do an example i'm going to draw some stars in here and i will apply a white color for this star after you add the white color just add this into your global color same as earlier and it will be inside your global colors all right guys so let's uh, complete this scene i will add some more stars in here and i'm going to rotate them randomly and then we can work on the changing colors all right all right guys i think the scene is ready now we don't need these color samples in here i'm just going to delete them all right so now if you want to change a color just double click on the swatches on the global color and you can just increase the rgb value or you can just type in the value as you can see the color is changing in here and you can also play with the opacity value of the gradients in here as well global color changes are not limited to vector objects you can apply them to the raster effects also for an example i copy this uh, circle or globe in here and apply a blur and keep it on top and now if i go and change the color it will affect the raster effect as well make sure to on the preview as you can see in here raster effect also changing we can do the same for these stars as well i'm going to copy them and apply a blur effect and again if i go and change the color it will affect all the objects in here all right guys so that's all about it for today as you can see you can change the artworks mood or lighting or day to night or night to day any type of lighting by using the global colors easily like this and thank you for watching hope you guys learned something new from today's tutorial and see you guys in the next uh, tutorial